Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Daily Tactics here, back fresh from another soul-crushing final exam. So, we're gonna get into some, uh, some of the Clone Wars here, so I can avoid my fate for the next 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, this battle is in the Battle of half -Axe Pass, which we've actually done the actual Battle of half -Axe Pass, the um, Imperial version previously, and this time I decided to spice it up and make it sort of Clone Wars themed. So we have clone troopers lining the trench below. Um, they have uh, these particle turrets, uh, or repeater turrets, whatever you like to call them. They have the, um, I forget what these guys are called. They're called the, Crate Dragon Legion, which is pretty dope name if you were to ask me. They got this sort of like yellow, mellow yellow skin color on their on their armor, which is kind of cool. They've got a couple of these mortars here, which are of course very very powerful, um, and of course these two AV cannons, which are the main defensive uh, turret that they're going to be utilizing. We'll see the clone army's artillery power in action in this battle. So this is the main defense. And then to the right over here, we have a small village where there are more clone troopers sort of holed up within it. I really like the idea of a small village defense. I think it's really cool. I wish more battles had small villages sort of a thing. Um, then further out, we have clones sort of scattered about the battlefield in defensive positions, pointing their guns down the road ready to fire at the oncoming battle droid army and of course the droid army is back here um big chillin they're about to be sallying forth to take on the clone trooper army here they have two of these amt uh vehicles they're semi-powerful i'd say they're an okay vehicle um they can definitely take out some serious infantry um but they're not like AAT powerful. They're, they're probably a step down from AATs, but they'll still definitely give the clones a run for their money. So guys, without further ado, I'll be right back and we'll get this battle started. Hold up. It, is that what I think it is? Si 662 for Men of War Assault Squad 2? 77% off? Oh my God, guys, if you want these deals, all you gotta do is click that link in the description below, Instant Gaming, and you're gonna get so many deals, it's gonna be amazing. Dudes, you gotta do it. Even if you don't buy anything, just click that link. It helps my channel out tremendously. Uh, and not just Men of War Assault Squad 2, there's thousands of games on here with awesome prices. Not a scam, 100% legit. Check it out, link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching the following video. Alrighty then, you bad Larrys, let's go ahead and press start, and the droid army begins sallying forth. The tanks are going to be chilling for the time being. They're not going to come forward until the uh, infantry engages. I thought that would make it a little bit more interesting. Um, you know, just sort of have like a, a two separate waves, one tank wave, one infantry wave. Uh, we've got these troopers coming to the left. I think these guys are going to be the first to be sort of engaged by the clone army defenses. Um, there's a truck backing up outside making a beeping noise. What are you doing, truck? I think it's a construction truck. There's been construction all outside uh, my dorm as of late, so it's been it's been tough. Okay, and there, bam, wow, that is a hard hitting bazooka shot from the clones there, and I was right, this is the first position to get hit uh, by the clone defenses. The droids fully engaging with the clone trooper defenders. They are managing to take out these defenses. Oh, and they've actually got a little flank -a rooney over here as more droids are sort of popping out the other corner and engaging with the clones. Seems like this pass has already pretty much fallen because that flank was pretty devastating. No fighting to the right. Oh, I stand corrected. A little bit of fighting going on right now down in the right. We're seeing mainly red laser fire. I think the clones don't have a super sturdy position over here. Yeah, only a few troopers. There's like a sniper over here and a bazooka trooper left. Um, so nothing too extreme on this side of the battlefield and the clones are falling pretty good. But then over here on the right, we're seeing a lot more action and a lot more droids getting absolutely desecrated. Um, down the middle, we've got clone defenses beginning to uh, warm up here and beginning to fire at the oncoming battle droids. Ooh, doggy, that is an artillery strike right there. Felling three trees at once. That is, uh, well, that's impressive right there. So the droid army is certainly going to be having to watch out for, for more artillery strikes. And there's another one coming in hot. Where are these droid tanks at? Um... 
That's a very, very good question. Oh, they're all the way on the left over here. Okay, so they're going through the woods, taking out some trees as they go themselves. I think these things could definitely be the saving grace of the droid army. Um, if they can manage to wipe out these AV cannons, that will aid the droids in their quest here to conquer half axe pass oh artillery cannons sort of moving around this way these things are so bloody powerful they're they're really impressive oh and we've got uh these repeater turrets on the bottom spraying into the droid lines oh little bit of fire coming in from the tanks over there these tanks are actually getting fired at by bazooka troopers too they're gonna need to watch out for those because those could definitely take them out one of the droid tanks goes down right there the other one coming up from the side though all of its weapons firing at once it's got to take out those bazooka troopers it's got to take out some of this infantry Ooh, but one of the av cannons over here has gone down that's going to be a, a large victory for the droids um that is certainly going to help in their defenses here comes this uh tank just plowing down the left side over here clones don't seem to have any bazookas to take care of it over here maybe this av cannon Oh, okay, maybe not. I was gonna say maybe the AV cannon could turn and take it out, but there goes the AV cannon, and one of its legs, as it's dismantled, kills a clone on the ground there. That is brutal. Both mortars are down. It looks like most of the repeater turrets are down, too. Bazooka troopers, there's not many left. There's one right here. None really over here. The clones need to take this tank out, or else they are in for some bad times ahead. Um, how is droid infantry doing? Droid infantry is sort of coming up from behind uh, following suit they're still taking a lot of fire from the clones left alive on the ground here so um, certainly not over for the clones and they are not going to be giving up quite yet but uh, if they don't take out that tank that could easily just sort of crush them and it's just chilling here with simply its top turret firing away the rest of its body does not need to be exposed this is actually a really brilliant strategy here as it's using this little overturn of land as uh, as cover and then maintaining its fire from below really pretty impressive strategy from a uh, droid tank there we got a sniper oh dc 15a trooper just getting absolutely domed right there hate to see it that's really tough for the clones there's still a solid amount of clone infantry here but if they don't take out that tank it's it's gonna be game over the village over here is still trying to hold out a little bit um this turret was taken out long ago there's still one trooper left on the ground here this t oh oh okay dude this is your your time to shine come on clone you got it buddy just just do it just shoot just round the just oh man that uh that was his opportunity to do the republic proud and he uh he didn't quite embrace it <laughs> that was his opportunity and now this thing is coming through um, this village, the the last couple clones in here are, are getting pretty wiped out. What was that, sir? Bruh! Are you- oh my god. That's, uh, that's pathetic right there. That was real, real sad. Yeah, still some clones left alive in the village. Not too many, though. Down the middle, there's still probably 20 or 30 clones, but each time that tank rounds off some fire over here, five or six more go down, and, um, the possibility of these troopers surviving becomes less and less the last bazooka trooper over here did end up dying so really if you look at the minimap the blue okay they finally killed the tank there you go but uh the last remaining troopers on screen are blue on the minimap and uh you can see they are falling quite rapidly there's like a small ring of troopers uh all around and uh they're getting invaded by the uh the red battle droids represented on the map and the battle droids are really coming at them pretty hard yeah i don't know if this is going to work out there's one clone in this building there's one behind this sort of wagon thing this trooper right here has been dueling with a few droids that uh that are sort of coming over the edge over here uh, he's been having a lot of trouble with them there's another two over here one right there and one behind this building here um, so the village seems does seem to be the the sort of final stand location that the clones are going to be able to utilize here. Um, wow, uh, the fact that those artillery cannons really went down so early is kind of shocking to me. Um, I, I thought they would have lasted a lot longer in the battle, and I think if those tanks weren't allowed to run so rampant in this battle then the clones would have been far far more successful in their 
um, in their ventures here. But uh, sadly, they just they just weren't able to to cut those uh, those tanks out of the battlefield. They um, they really just sort of yeah let them let them run rampant. And once that artillery was gutted, then the ground forces weren't able to defend themselves from the tanks. And they had like probably 10, 20 bazooka troopers all throughout the map. Um, one of the tanks did get taken out rather early, not before it did eliminate one of the artillery cannons. Um, but the second tank, it just, they never connected another bazooka shot to it, and that that led to the, the clone downfall. So we got four clones left alive here. Why don't we go Rambo with them? Why don't we try and, uh, try and get a few kills here? Why not? Just for fun. Okay, okay. He's getting shot at. Uh, well, he's dead. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't really work with him. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, that's, there's too many droids. There's too many. Yo, yeah, retreat. Retreat, boys. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah! <laughs> oh, this guy's got a few droids on his tail. Yeah, he's dead. Let's see. There's one last clone over here next to this, like, temple thing. Can can we retreat him back? You have to survive, brother. You have to tell them what you've seen. Go, my friend. Go. Oh, they're... I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, he, he, he'll be able to get away. Yeah, he's going to go to where the droids came from. Maybe hijack a nice ship. And, uh, and inform them that uh, the droids... Well, the droids definitely won here. Honestly, they actually they do have a lot of infantry left alive. Um, but had those... You know, you think about it. If the, if the clone mortars and the clone AV cannons had stayed up and they really only went down because of those two tanks... Um, then probably all of this infantry would be dead. I, I think this is a battle where it's 50-50. The clones could have absolutely won this, or the droids could have absolutely won this, and the droids absolutely did win it in this instance, but I feel like if we ran this simulation 100 times, it would have been perfectly 50-50. I, I definitely do think it was a very even battle, um, which is kind of fun. I, I, I like it when, when it could, the odds are, are even. So, a bit of a shorter video today. I do apologize for that, guys. I promise to hit you with some bangers in the future. Um, also kind of noisy in the background with all this just like construction noise. So I do apologize for that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.